today I'm making okra soup in a very simple way. This is a meat, uh, fish. I'm using just fish because because this is Lent period. As Catholic, we don't eat, we don't use meat during Lent period. So I'm using just fish to cook the okra soup in a very simple way. This is my crayfish. I'm adding to it. Adding crayfish to it. This is my uba locust beans, which is second class protein. Very good. This my oil. That's my oil. I added it to it. Then I'm adding a periwinkle because these are dry one. We don't have fresh periwinkle over where I stay here. So this one, they have a dried one. I rehydrated them overnight. So I'm putting them early so that it will be well cooked also. Now I will allow the soup to cook for five to ten minutes because the fish are already cooked. Now I'm clearing my kitchen. Clearing my kitchen. I'm adding a little pinch of just a little to eat. The soup is boiling now. This is my already diced uh, okra. And uh, you know okra is vegetable. You don't need to cook okra for a long time. So that is why I will put it last. Immediately I put it one to two minutes, I remove it because it's vegetable. And the okra contains a high dose of vitamin C. And you know vitamin C is water soluble. So since it's water soluble, the more you cook it, the more the vitamin is being eroded. So because of that, I'm not adding it immediately now, but I will add it later on. I open it. You can see. It's boiling very well now. Very, very well. Okra, you can cook it in so many ways, and it will it will still come out good. Taste you. That's good. You can fry okra. You can eat it raw. When you eat okra raw, it's anti -vemos. It's full of anti -vemos. So those of us that are farmers, if you eat okra raw. And you accidentally say but beat you, it will not be effective, it will not have any effect in you because raw okra is full of anti -vemons. So you can see one of the good effects of a uh, okra. You can fry okra, you can parboil it, you can dehydrate it if okra is in season. And you have it enough in your garden or in the market, go to the market, it's very cheap. You know what you do? Buy enough, dice it, put it in the sun, and dry it. When okra is scarce, you can grind it into paste. But if you have a air fryer, you can use it to dehydrate it. So you can use okra fresh, you can use okra dried, you can use okra in so many ways. And depending on your locality, or your tradition because my tradition varies from your tradition that is why i said okra can be cooked in so many ways now i'm adding my okra to the soup is the last thing we add you see i'm adding it now you see 
see the okra? Some people love their okra wok tree, but me, I love my own tick. So depending on how you want your okra, okra, you can cook it thick, you can cook it watery, it's your own taste. You know our taste differs in cooking and in tradition. Some tradition, they cook their okra very watery. Some cook it thick. You can use okra for stew. You can use it to introduce your baby to adult diet because it's slimy. Then if you want to give it to a baby, make sure that you debone your fish or you use your, uh, your meat stock. You can see it now. This is my okra. We leave it for a few minutes for it to be cooked. The okra is cooking, it's boiling, you can see it's very good. onions when you use onions to cook okra it give this that special aroma it give it a very good aroma try it one day try to use a little just small to give it aroma because if you use too much you see how this okra is slimy it will not be all that slimy again that is when the when did this thing is too much uh, the onions so you can see the okra now you see you see how slimy it is this is my okra soup okra soup can go with pandered yam it can go with amala it can go with a uh, eba it can go with stash any swallow of your choice depending on the community you come from it can go with two those from the northern part of nigeria they know what i'm talking about if i say two okra can grow with anything so people even use okra to eat rice especially for children who you who you are introducing to adult diet you see my okra is cooked now it's done Let me give it a taste and see. It tastes good. This is my okra. Thank you. God bless you. This is the virtuous woman Priscilla Kadiri. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on TikTok. I'm on Facebook as a virtuous woman. Follow me on my page, David and Priscilla. God bless you as you tune in again. Please tell somebody about this channel. Recommend it. God bless you. I love you. Jesus Christ loves you. And I will say 
Come and enjoy my okra soup with me. Thank you. Bye.